What is the crack lads and welcome back to another video. So we're just going to give a run through of what you guys are saying over on Twitter. We put out a tweet and it was just fairly uh, kind of, I don't know, ambiguous in asking what are you guys hoping to see tomorrow with eFootball 2023. So there has been, as you can imagine, a mixed response to this because some people are unhappy, some people are um, excited, some people are not bothered some people are more interested in you know what other games are coming out around this time of the year the next couple of months um there's a lot going on obviously in september as well um uh, personally for me man i'm looking forward to the new lord of the rings show massive fan of lord of the rings we've got cobra kai coming back we've got the new game of thrones series which i swore i would not watch because of how the last one ended um but i won't get into that but i am back watching the game of thrones one i was quite impressed with episode one but anyway we did put out the tweet what are you hoping to see tomorrow with eFootball 23? So while there is a lot of stuff vying for our attention, I mean, I am definitely going to be checking out eFootball 23 when it does release tomorrow. And I'm hoping that there isn't maintenance. We will get into the replies in a second, but I can see Spoonie already getting in early doors, hoping that there isn't maintenance tomorrow. <laughs> Me and you both, Spoonie, because, um, you know, there is, there is probably going to be less hype there than there was when v1.0 announced and i think what happened was when v1.0 came out people's expectations were so low compared to what they had been with the beta and what they'd played for the last couple of months when v1.0 came out and people were actually giving it a go and saying wow this is actually it's actually fun yeah i can see there's issues the graphics aren't amazing uh, obviously there's no offline component but for those that wanted to embrace dream team and then embrace an actual online centric mode People were really enjoying the gameplay and really enjoying what had you know what was on offer with buying the players and the cards and all that in the GP market, um, but obviously things have changed and people are getting more and more frustrated. So it is going to be a difficult one, I think, tomorrow. But we are going to go through some of the questions here and some of the talking points because I think it's a very broad uh, answers. Uh, there are some very good answers here and very good talking points. So we do have the pro Spartan gamer uh, saying more offline content. That's what he wants to see tomorrow. More to do in career stats for your players, games played, also a tweak to the collision system. So again, yeah, I would say that there's a bit of gameplay in there and there's a bit of obviously content that you want to see. I think having a screen like in my club in PES 21, where you could see how many goals your players have scored for you, how many games they've played, you know, what their overall rating is, their average rating in 100 games or whatever. It's such a simple thing, but it would add to actually be going in and be saying, right, you know, Inzaghi's on 50 goals or he's on 49 goals, I'm going to play him and get his 50th and then retire him, move him on, get Haaland in or something like that. You could have a bit of stories going on in your head, which was always a huge part of PES, which I think needs to come back. Um... Vidoz says, I want to see a development roadmap. So more than likely it'll be new cards and some more maintenance. So he wants to see an actual roadmap. We haven't seen a roadmap in months as to like this is coming in this date or whatever. I still think that they are probably going by their old roadmap. And I, I did a video on that where um, a lot of people kind of consider summer to be, you know, May, June, July, because obviously, or even June, July, August, because obviously, you know, if you have kids or you're going to college yourself or whatever, that's kind of the summer months where, you know, you wouldn't traditionally associate with going on holidays and stuff. At least it is here in Ireland. I don't know. Uh, I'm not speaking on, on behalf of everybody in the world, <laughs> but I would consider the summer months traditionally, not traditionally, but kind of like to be June, July, August, or else, you know, late May, June, July, and a little bit of August, kind of as the summer period, you know, because then you're back into September, you're back to school or college or um, whatever it is. And most people go on holidays in June, July, or August. So um, that I know. So yeah, I think that they see the, the summer months and the winter months and that as different because we know that the winter months in Japan on the roadmap go up to, I think it's mid-February. I think it's mid-February, like 5th of February or something like that. So we could still see those winter roadmap updates coming all the way past Christmas, into January, past January, into the mid-February, and they would still have it as late winter period. So yeah, Spoonie, of course, we did mention Spoonie there getting in the early early doors digs. Uh, Spoonie Pizza says not maintenance. Well, I hope uh, we don't have maintenance because if I'm going on and uh, I'm hoping to have a couple of games played and get a bit of content out to see what it's like. Uh, Peter says, Master League surprise, laughing face. Yeah, I don't think so, man. You're going to be waiting, I think, for that. We've had no word on that. Pezex says, online Dream Team lobby with friends versus com. 
yeah, I think another tongue in cheek one. We're not going to be getting the online lobbies, the friendly lobbies, until October, as far as I know, unless they spring it on us tomorrow, uh, which be which would be an amazing surprise. But I don't think so, lads. Hoping for a lot, says Luca. But in reality, what is changes will be numbers and titles where two will change to three and we will get different login bonuses. Marco says improved graphics, improved gameplay, defensive method in particular, and offline mode available. Sean says offline games with Inter Milan, question marks. I think we will get um, an offline mode of sorts, but I don't think we're probably going to get it tomorrow. I think tomorrow is going to be just kind of the first uh, kind of step you know the breadcrumbs of what's to come i think that they'll you know update the kits update the squads update the database which they've already done you can check that out on eFootballDB.com. they've updated like Haaland is at city and stuff now on his player card they'll add a load of cards they'll have a load of stuff like that but i think the big update will probably come in october when the when the transfer window is shut and stuff um free palestine says grime says that's all with no context and boring stuff every week uh i'm not too sure i can't read that and I don't know if I translate it, we'll go out with this one. Uh, Fernando Oliveira, fixing of the kickoff exploit, no more players freezing for a second when switching in defense, less input delay. Yeah, I mean, he's basically speaking what I would say. Um, kickoff glitch, I don't think is as bad now. I mean, get in the comments below and let me know. Um, but yeah, the players freezing for that split second. When you've got a bad connection, when you have a good connection, it's fine. But when you have a bad connection, it can be the difference between you. I won't say winning and losing games. I won't go that extreme, but it can be the it can be the difference between you scoring or not scoring in particular moments. Um, Jwire thirteen says co op or a date when maybe yeah I'd like to see that too. Lauren says proper next gen graphics and gameplay offline modes edit modes choose your referee. Yeah, I wouldn't hold your breath either for those, man. I mean, I think, as I said, we're going to get just get kind of the foundation of what they're going to be building on in October. Uh, something we're playing, says Fox. Offline content, gameplay improvements, more teams. I think this question is being interpreted as, you know, like they're, what what they actually like, they, you know, they hope to have. I mean, that's this stuff isn't going to be coming tomorrow. I mean, it's, it's not. I mean, I was kind of thinking more along gameplay tweaks and stuff um pez mobile says a lot of update phases and new events i think that's more realistic yeah to, to want for kevin says hope what's that uh king's career mode says what's happening tomorrow david says offline league and cup play e fifa ball 22 says a name change well maybe they could change the e fifa ball man uh gerson tremis says a friend match lobby again that's coming in october uh, Damien says Master League that isn't going to be coming tomorrow Damien sorry to burst your bubble play with any team Brazilian teams updated friendly lobby Luciano says Calcia Master League may have to wait until 2027 for that uh, all the teams in offline mode competition Master League an apology for admin with 5,000 coins Pfft, I mean that'd be a lot of coins man edit mode no we won't be getting edit mode tomorrow as far as I know anyway announcement that their scrap new games will remaster pro evolution 2 well that could be huge if it does happen but trust me lads the old games when you go back and play on pez 20 you know 13 pez 5 pez 6 they are very dated I would imagine you guys have probably not played a lot of them that much like yes you can still have fun but they are limited I think you know movement wise animation wise it's just hard to go back and play them uh master league mode uh, private lobbies for matches that's october says baxter uh handicap no pez 2021 a football game nada a new pez 6 with unreal 5 free icons pez 21 return of pez 3v3 so yeah look there's a lot of people obviously going on about um you know different things and, and complaints and stuff like that i think the big thing tomorrow lads is there is going to be gameplay but you also have to remember, and this isn't, you know, me being an apologist or anything like that. Why is my mouse moving like that? What is going on? I don't like that. Why is my mouse moving? Look at that. Anyway, ghost aside and being haunted aside, I do think that there is going to be like gameplay tweaks. I think that the game will probably be a little bit more fluid. Responsiveness will be a little bit better and stuff like that. But yeah, I think that it's going to it's going to be a long road, I think, and I think October will shine more light on that. I think they'll try and get they'll try and get this out. They'll try and get um get to October and then I think that they'll be looking at, you know, 2023 for their big 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 things. Like, you know, you're talking about November, December, January, February. There that four months is going to be huge, I think. Um, but yeah, I should have some news I will be able to discuss quite soon. So I do appreciate you guys checking out the videos. Let me know if you want any more information on anything else. And I do appreciate you guys subscribing. And uh, yeah, if you haven't, welcome to the channel and uh, 
subscribe if you can. I am trying to grow to 20,000 subscribers. That is my, my huge goal. We'll do a massive giveaway at that. But yeah, let me know what you guys think, lads. Uh, and uh, let me know in the comments as well for my YouTube guys what you guys are thinking. I will talk to you in a bit. Peace.